I'm here outside of Greenland High School where classes were canceled today thanks to last night's severe weather. The University of Arkansas Honors College teamed up with the Mortarboard National Honor Society this week to bring reading to the community of Fayetteville. Take a look. While some students use the day off as a break, for others it's anything but. Whether it's in the Mullins Library, the Student Union, or even here at J.B. Hunt, you'll definitely find some students hard at work. The Razorback baseball team took on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils today. Another solid pitching performance and hot bats led the Hogs to a 20 to nothing victory. The men's Razorback basketball team had a tough night Tuesday against the Mississippi State Bulldogs losing 78 to 46. The Diamond Hogs are gearing up for another big series this weekend as they face the number one ranked Florida Gators. The Razorbacks have struggled recently, getting swept by Ole Miss last weekend and have lost several series to SEC opponents. I'll take you to the football field where the seniors showed off for the NFL scouts. First, our trivia question. What year did the NFL draft the most Razorback football players? The answer, next. Razorfest is an event held annually at the university before each red versus white football game. It takes place primarily in the parking lot outside of Reynolds Razorback Stadium and involves a number of activities for all ages. Since it is on a Saturday, both families and students get the opportunity to attend. From bouncy houses to athlete autographs, there are plenty of things to do. Through events like this, the community can come together. I wanted to meet some of the people in the community and the athletes that I support. But Razorfest also has many opportunities to volunteer with different organizations. There are booths where people can learn all about the efforts being made to bring aid to those in need. The nonprofit organization Champions for Kids hosts Razorfest and continually strives to raise awareness for children desperate for resources. I think that gets their name out there, um, which is really just an easy thing to do, like networking wise. Um, so all of the vendors that were there, all of the nonprofits, they now know about them. If they didn't before, all the members of the community now know about them. Daniel. For UATV, I'm James Bush. Not everyone can be a collegiate athlete like Amanda, but for those who still love sports, there are other ways to stay involved. I was able to sit down with local sports reporter AJ McCord to find out how she got started and what her career entails. AJ. Is sports broadcasting something you've always wanted to do? It is. It is something I've always wanted to do. From the time I was little, I played sports a lot, and so when I couldn't play anymore, I decided I might as well make a living talking about them. So how did you get started going into college in sports broadcasting? I was a broadcast journalism major, and I went to a really little school that actually didn't have an emphasis on sports broadcasting, but um, kind of tailored it to what I wanted, and took a lot of internships, did a lot of free work, and then that was most of my college experience. <laughs> so when I first met you, you weren't covering a sports story, but a news piece. Is mm -hmm. that something that happens often? You know, it does for me. So I took a job here in Fayetteville as um, the weekend sports anchor and reporter, and part of the deal was that I do a day a week in news. So once a week, I dabble in news, and um, so it happens happens once a week. <laughs> what is your job like on a daily basis? That depends on the day. Totally different from day to day. Game day is different than practice day. News is wildly different than sports day. Football season is different than basketball. I mean, it's an ever-changing beast. The Razorback men's basketball team got some good news today for next season. Six foot five guard C.J. Jones out of Birmingham, Alabama signed a national letter of intent for Arkansas. Jones led his team in scoring during his final two years in high school and as a senior averaged 28 points and six rebounds a game. He joins a promising recruiting class which features three of the top six junior college players in the country. Jones will be one of the two freshmen joining the team in 2016. The Diamond Hogs are gearing up for another big series this weekend as they face the number one ranked Florida Gators. The Razorbacks have struggled recently getting swept by Ole Miss last weekend and have lost several series to SEC opponents but head coach Dave Van Horn feels there isn't a need to worry, and he says it's on the team to get the job done. I don't feel that if there's any panic. I mean, I told him, you know, you're either going to play your way in or you're not, and, you know, we're not going to go crazy about it. We're just going to keep coaching you. Infielder Colin Gassaway says the difficult season has helped the team find its focus, which could be a help in the future. We have, like, a a better uh, understanding of who we are from that and we know that we can come back from those games and uh, I think I think that'll be big for us coming into this series.
Despite recent struggles, there is still a significant amount of talent on the baseball team, including outfielder Jake Arledge, a junior college transfer. UATV Zone Andrew Brummett was able to sit down with Jake to find out how the transition has been. Finishing up, two big, th big things happening in the NBA tonight. The Golden State Warriors face off against the Memphis Grizzlies as they try to make history. If the Warriors win, it could give them a 73-9 record, eclipsing the previous mark set by the 96 Chicago Bulls. And Kobe Bryant, you may have heard of him, is playing his final game in the NBA. The 37-year-old guard has played for the Los Angeles Lakers his entire 20-year career, and he is third on the all -time, on NBA all-time scoring leaders list with 33,000 points. And that brings us to our trivia question. Who are the top two all-time leading scorers in front of Kobe Bryant? The answer is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with a little over 38,000 points and Karl Malone with 36,928 points. Kareem played for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers, while Malone played for the Utah Jazz and the Lakers. That will do it for tonight's sports. Up next is a last look at your weather. 